ಕಾಲಿಂದ ನಂದೇನೆ ವಿಪುಲ ತರಂಗ ಕಾಲಿಂದ ರಾಧಕೊಂಡ ತಟ ಗುಂಜ ಕುಟೇರ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ ಪಾರ್ವತ ಜಾಮೂನ ಸಕಯೋ ದೀಪಕ ಮಾನಿ ಲೀಲಾ ಬಿಲಾಸ 
ये सब छोरा तो कहीं नहीं जाऊं ये सब छोरा तो जय राधे हे जय राधे जय जय राधे ये सब छोरा तो कहीं नहीं जाऊं ये सब सब छोरा तो कहीं नहीं जाऊ सब ये सब छोरा तो परानो हराऊ ये सब राधा कुंड तट कुंज कुटीर गोवर्धन पर्वत जामुन तीर राधा कुंड तट भक्ति विनोद कहे सुन कान भक्ति विनोद प्रभु हे प्रभु यमा भक्ति विनोद कहे सुन कान भक्ति विनोद तू आयो दीपक हमार जय राधा कुंड तत कुंज कुटीर गोवर्धन पर्वत जमुन राधा कुंड तत राधे जय राधे जय राधे जय राधे
कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे हरे I think that today in morning class, Sriman <coughs> Namini Krishna Brahmachari, he had come, had spoke so many things. But I think that all were not. I think Govinda Bhakta was there. He can speak. You should do. He has told in morning. And you can tell about the glories of <coughs> see Advaita Char, how he brought Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so quickly. What was his method? And what are the characteristics of his life? You can glorify him. Take this or the there. It can I'd like to offer my humble obeisances onto the lotus feet of my Diksha Guru, Srila Gaur Govinda Swami. Also, I'd like to offer my obeisances onto the lotus feet of my Param Guru, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada. And onto the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru, Srila Bhaktivedanta Naya Maharaj, Srila Gurudev. 
So Naveen Prabhu was explaining this morning that Advaita Acharya, he is um, incarnation of Mahavishnu. He is Sada Shiv. Sada, Sada, Sada Shiv. And that uh, um, the re that there are two primary reasons for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu um, descending. That the first are Krishna's um, desire to fulfill three greeds: Radha Pranayam, Mahima, Kirisham, Vamadiya. Hmm? Second line? Swadhyo Yena Bhuta Madhurima Kirisham Vamadiya Sokim Chasya Mananubhava Kirisham Veti Lopat um, The first is to understand the greatness of Srimati Radharani's love The second is to understand the um, his own, Krishna wants to understand his own beauty as Srimati Radharani um, sees and perceives which is um, super excellent and unexcelled. And the third is to um, appreciate the happiness that Srimati Radharani feels when, um, when she um, serves and pleases Krishna, when she experiences Krishna's happiness, the happiness that she feels. But, the, but Advaita Acharya, his um, part is that he was seeing how degraded um, living entities were in Kali Yuga, and it is the, I think this is right, that he is the, um, he, he being um, none different from Mahavishnu, <laughs> that it is the, um, the role, the function of Mahavishnu to um, bring the Yuga Avatar. Is that right? So, um, bring the Yuga Avatar to establish Yuga Dharma. It is the um, function of the um, of Mahavishnu to establish Yuga Dharma. So Naveen Prabhu was explaining that Mahavishnu, that Advaita Acharya, that he was thinking that the people are, are going so far away from religious practices that if he himself was to um, deal with the situation that he would um, manifest his um, four arms and act in a where's Naveen? and act in a uh, most violent way. So instead, um, he understand also this fact that the and Krishna, Krishna himself not coming or in Treta Yuga when Ram himself not coming <coughs> then this Advaita Charge Mahavishnu is the roles of Krishna also what Krishna then in Dwapar Yuga when Krishna is not there any Yuga comes in Dwapadu, and his name is Krishna, but not this Krishna. Also, he comes in Tetaju in Rup Mavarna. Rup Mavarna means that is color. And also in Kaliju, he comes like Kalki. Bhaman, Nishinga, all are the manifestations of this Mahavishnu, Yuga Vakash. So, <coughs> Mahavishnu is qualified to establish Yuga Dharma. Oh. So, just as um, in the previous ages, as Gurudev has just mentioned, um, when Lord Ram he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. When He is present, <coughs> then there is um, no um, need for Mahavishnu to, yeah. to establish Yuga Dharma. 
and similarly in Dwapa Yuga, as Krishna, the original Supreme Personality of Godhead, he um, appeared. So similarly, there was no need for Mahavishnu to establish. And also in Kali Yuga, um, by the calling of Advaita Acharya, who is Mahavishnu himself, Sadashiv, um, Mahaprabhu, he appeared. So similarly, there's no need for, um, for, um, for Kalki, who normally would come in Kali Yuga, to appear. So in this Kali Yuga, um, which is called Danya Kali, happens once in the day of Lord Brahma. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes, then Kalki doesn't come. But when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Avatari, the original Supreme Personality of Godhead, when he doesn't come in Kali Yuga, then Kalki descends. So... In Kalapa Yuga also. <coughs> in all Yugas. So, um, Advaita Acharya, his mode of um, calling the Supreme Lord was that he, he worshipped the Lord with um, Ganga Jal, Ganges water, and Why he began to call? Because he also Sarbhagya. All knowing, knows everything. All knowing. <coughs> he knew that my Prabhu, Krishna himself, want to taste and distribute the sprinkles of Brajapin. So he caught. Otherwise, why he not caught? He wants, he knew this, because this, the manifestation of Baladev Prabhu. So he knew all these things. And it was not certain till that time, that time Mahaprabhu will come. He thought, why so late? This is the actual time. He should come just now. He will come, it is no certainty when he will come. And he is thinking that I will come, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or Krishna. So it may take a very long time. Perhaps they will come in the last of this year. So I want that this is compassion because you see, have had no bhakti. Mayavadi is to be explained everywhere. Kandi, Gyan, Yogi, all that there. So he was this time. If my Prabhu will not come, I will destroy whole body. I have created and again I will destroy. What he process he adopted? So he um off he worshipped Shalgram Shila with Ganges water and Tulsi leaves, having um with each two Tulsi leaves the um Tulsi bud, Manjari. And in this way he worshipped about um seven or eight Naveen Prabhu has explained seven or eight Tulsi leaves in this way daily and called um, for the descent of the Lord. Go on, go on. So, as Gurudev has just explained, that the um, Yuga Avatar generally will come at the end of um, the Yuga. Just as Krishna, he came at the end of Dwapa Yuga, Lord Ram. He also came at the end of Treta Yuga and Kalki is to come at the end of Kali Yuga. But because of the urgency of the situation also to fulfill the desire of the Lord, um, he, called for the, um, he called for the Lord to come and he came. Um, he came in the, in the beginning of Kali Yuga. So Advaita Chari in his childhood pastimes, he was known as Kamlaksha. Kamlaksha means... How he was versus only giving Tulashi and Ganga Jal to the Lord of Sri of Sri Shalakaram Sri. This was his mode of worship. No. By heart he was crying and weeping and calling. This is the process of Krishna. Not only Achan will do it, but giving this. 
I'm offering this from Rajalai, Tulsi, Mundari, Tulsi, I'm crying bitterly. Oh, Krishna, Krishna, come at once. Like this. This calling is called Kirtan. So by grace he was doing this. And that is why Krishna heard and he asana was shaking. His phone was shaking, shaking in Vrindavan. And he decided that I should, must go immediately. So, in his childhood pastimes, he was known as Kamalaksha. Kamalaksha means lotus-eyed one, because um, his bodily form was very, very beautiful, and he had lotus-like eyes. Um, so, when one pastime is when he was a very young boy, his parents, they would go and worship um, deity of Durga. And he, Kamalaksha would go, but he would never pay obeisances. And this was disturbing the parents and other elderly people in the neighborhood. So one time they, they forced Kamalaksha that you go and you pay um, your obeisances. So Kamalaksha, he went in the temple room and he went to bow down his head. And at that time, there was a big explosion. So everybody was wondering, what's going on? What, what is the cause of this? That this, this boy must be, um, there must be something very, very special. So Kamalaksha, he explained that, well, I didn't want to pay but my obeisances, but you, you kept on insisting and you forced what me. What became of the duty of Durga? So the deity exploded. So if you are worshipping Krishna <laughs> and having so many Ganesh, Shankar, all other deities, your bhakti will go away like that. So then, another reason is that um, Advaita Acharya, being um, expansion of Mahavishnu, that actually he is the husband of Durga. And Naveen Prabhu explained, Naveen Krishna Prabhu explained that um, it is not somehow proper for the husband to pay obeisances um, to the wife. Yes. Yeah. So, let's see. What was that? What did you say? Shadow. Shadow, not Lakshmi. Durga is the shadow of Lakshmi. Maha Maya is not real Lakshmi. The shadow of Lakshmi or Advaita. The shadow is kind of basis for the form in the sense that wasn't possible. So, um, give me, prompt me. You were talking about why it actually exploded. After that, what did he say after that? He said that. That was with the, those are the explanations that I remember. The one you gave. Mahaprabhu, he was always treating Advaita Acharya as a spiritual master. Oh, so there was another pastime because um, Advaita Acharya, he was the um, disciple of Madhavendra Puri. And also, Ishvara Puri, the spiritual master of um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, was similarly disciple of Madhavendra Puri. So, following the proper etiquette, um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was treating um, Advaita Acharya as spiritual master, as one should treat the god brother of one spiritual master. But Advaita Acharya, he was not happy because he could understand that Mahaprabhu is the supreme personality of Godhead, and he is sometimes chastising other devotees, and they're getting such mercy by getting the chastisement, and here I'm being, I'm being um, treated in a worshipable way. So he devised a, a plan by which um, he would get Mahaprabhu to change his, his mood towards him. And in Shantipur, where Dwaitacharya, he had a house, he started to um, study uh, one Mayavad scripture, Yoga Vashishta. And he was studying the scripture, and then word got to Mahaprabhu 
And when Mahaprabhu found out, what he was telling, what was explaining to audience, he was. You are all wrong. Brahma is no shape. You are the same. You have nothing to worship to anyone. Your wife, your son, all, all creatures and all everything we see, all are part of. We want only mukti. So he was preaching like this, and when Mahaprabhu found out, he became very furious, and immediately he ran to Shantipur, and he ran to the place where Dwaita Charya was, and he grabbed him and started slapping him, punching him, jumped on him, <laughs> elbowing him, <laughs> stomping him, <laughs> like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> in this way, um, Sita Thakurani, she was watching and she was seeing, she was thinking, oh, my husband is, 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 is an old man and, and Mahaprabhu, he's in the prime of his youth, he's go, he, my husband will die. Nimai Pandit. Nimai Pandit at this time. He's so young, oh. so strong. My husband will die if he is doing so. So, so, but at that time, after he had started to um, really work Advaita Acharya over, <laughs> then um, <coughs> Advaita Acharya then jumped up and he was very, very happy that now he was being, treat he was being treated and he was being chastised by Mahaprabhu. And um, when Mahaprabhu realized the trick, then Mahaprabhu was feeling himself um, quite bad, ashamed. So at this time, um, Naveen Krishna Prabhu explained that Along with Advaita Charya were three sons um, who had been hearing this yoga of Ashishta and in, in, engaging with him. But when Advaita Charya, he came back to the fold of Bhakti, but these three sons, they still um, continued the path of monism, my, my body philosophy. And in this way, they got rejected by Advaita Charya. Not only three, but perhaps there were seven, eight. Yeah. And Akyuk was the last. And Achyutananda, who was the youngest son, he, he did not, he came back with his father um, to, well, not that his father ever went, but he continued along the path of bhakti. So, when he was a son, when the son was a boy, when the son was a boy. So when, when Achyutananda was um, young, then he was inquiring, who is the, who is the spiritual master of, um, of um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? And it was told that it's Keshav Bharati. So at this he became very disturbed that Chaitanya... Another person came and he asked, anyone, asked Advaita Acharya, <coughs> who is the divine master of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Guru. Then Advaita Acharya answered that Keshav Bharati is Guru of Sikha. Then at once he was in the lap of Advaita Chand. He was very uneasy. He wanted to give up his father also. And he came on the earth in slippery way. And he was studying. I think that that none in the whole world the Guru of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself suggests. Hearing this answer, Abhita Acharya became so glad and happy. And he began to laugh. You, you are only my son. All are perfect. What you are telling, this is true. But for ordinary persons, I told like that. That when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna comes to this world, descends, then he accepts a guru to teach all of us. But actually, Krishna, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, Arjuna, Jagadu, there is no one else qualified to be the guru of Krishna. 
पर महाप्रभु कृष्ण सब नो Then the Vin Krishna Prabhu also told pastime Lord Nityananda and um Haridas Thakur that they were going to um the place of Jaga and Madai and as we know Jaga and Madai they were drunkards constantly drinking and and where they lived nobody would go by that way no man what to speak of female would would cross the path so nitinanda lord nitinanda and um haridas takot they went and they were going to tell them to take up the chanting of hari krishna and um jaga and madai they chased them away so this time lord nitinanda he was very fast It's explained that because he is none different from Baldev, strong, fast, slender, but Hari Das Thakur was um, biggish, and he was kind of lagging behind. So when they went and they told the Dwaita Acharya, and um, he said four drunkards will dance together. And then um, a Dwaita Acharya, he said, he very said, serious and outward very serious. And then he told. He said, "Yes, you w- you went to see two drunken people with another drunk person, and also Mahaprabhu. He's also another mad person. So I can understand that in this way that these four mad and drunken people that they will dance together. So. And they will make the whole world dance." Don't fall to them. So then the next day they went to see Jaga and Madai and um they were again they were drunk and Madai he took a clay pot and he threw it and it hit um Nitinanda in the head and blood started to come so then when news came to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then he immediately he ran to the spot and then he in, invoked his sudasan chakra but at, at this time um how did he explain he tell the guru say in this uh, you don't take any weapons you destroy the demonic cause in the heart so nitinanda prabhu he stopped him and he said in this incarnation that you do not um kill the demons but rather you destroy the demonic qualities and then it was explained that actually um jagai had um had stopped madai tried to stop madai so chaitanya mahaprabhu this invoked in him feelings of um compassion and love and he embraced jagai and, and immediately jagai started to exhibit ecstatic symptoms and meantime madai was looking and he was thinking that jagai has got embraced so when will i get embraced and he was waiting to be embraced but no embrace was coming his way so then finally in exasperation he said that but jagai is getting embraced he's getting mercy but we grew up together we drunk together we perform illicit activities together so why he's getting embraced i'm not getting embraced <laughs> so then chaitanya mahaprabhu then he explained that because he had made offense to nitai who is more dear to him 
than his very self, then he cannot excuse him from, from, from this. That if he wants to get mercy, then he has to go to Nittai and beg forgiveness. And upon get, begging forgiveness from Nittai, then he can get the mercy. He can be forgiven. So immediately he went and um, grabbed the feet, touched the feet of Lord Nityananda and got forgiveness for this offense. And then he got the embrace of um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and both of them, from that point on, they were imbued with um, Krishna Prem. Yes. Yes. Um, there was also the pastime where um, um, Advaita Chai was performing the um, Shrad ceremony for his um, father, deceased father. And the, the system is that um, one will invite Brahmins to come and they will take prasad. And, when, and amongst the Brahmins then there will be one who is seen to be most senior, um, mo most respectable and venerable, and that person will be offered prasadam first. So Haridas Thakur, he was very um, humbly and sheepishly, sheepishly just staying out in the veranda. And um, all the Brahmins were, were seated inside waiting to be fed. And then Advaita Chari, he called Haridas Thakur in, and then he... Oh, Haridas Thakur didn't want to come in. And he grabbed him and he dragged him in and made him sit down against his will. And then he offered him the um, first plate of prasadam, which is offered to the most respectable um, Brahmin. So the Brahmins... The br if you take... Then this is thousands and thousands of Brahmins, they're being fed. <coughs> So he mentioned that time that by, because Haridas Thakur was um, reluctant, but he says, by you taking prasad, then this is like feeding thousands and thousands of Brahmins. But the other Brahmins who were seated there, they um, felt somewhat insulted, and then they left in a huff. So they were going and they were discussing amongst themselves how Advaita Charya, he could do such a thing to invite somebody who, not only was he not a Brahmin, he was not even a Hindu, uh, but he was a Muslim. How could they do such a thing? And then, but then it started to dawn on them, but wait, this Advaita Chari is very, very special. Remember when he was a child, Kamalaksha, and we, um, we tried to force him to pay obeisances in front of Durga, and then the deity exploded. So then they thought that he is such a great personality that whatever he says must be shastically correct. So those who had um, some good fortune, they turned back and went back to Dwayta Chari's house and um, apologized for their behavior and then they accepted prasadam and they were fed. And in this way Dwayta Chari was pacified, he was pleased. That anything else? Advaita Chaj was more aged than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took birth at Mayapur, at that time Advaita Chaj Prabhu's age was more than 60. More than 60. It may be that at that time he was of 75 years old. And at that time, before the birth of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who went to two whole India, all the pastimes of Krishna in Vrindavan, everywhere in south, west, east, everywhere he went. And thus he passed so many five years are like in only touring of this pure religious places. He went to Vrindavan and he stayed near Madan Mohan temple 
there is Advait Bhat there, near Ashta Sakhi. And he anyhow found a deity of Madan Mohan. And he used to worship when he was there. And when he started from there, the deity told him to keep anywhere in Mathura. So he kept it in the house of Brahmin. And he went from here, he went to Mithila. Now in Mithila, the birthplace of Sitaji in Janakpuri. He saw that outside of Janakpuri, Mithila, very old person, but rays are coming from his body. He is sleeping, keeping his head on the root of any tree, and tears are coming. Perhaps he is not in his senses. And she, he, he is singing some kirtan. At that time he was uttering kirtan with inner up from his heart. And that kirtan was tatalasaikatabari bindusa. Sutamita Ramadini Samaji. Tohi Bisharipun. Tahi Bish. Tahi. Tohi Bhajabi Kamun Nobela. The meaning of this Kirtan. That. Tatala Saikata Bari Bindu Sama. There is a desert. Perhaps desert in Australia also. Nothing growing, no grass, nothing. <coughs> Always Sahara we have heard in the desert Sahara. There are so many deserts like this. In Arab, in Muslim countries, big, big deserts are there, Sahara like. And always sun makes them so hot that if in uh, in that season, summer season, when the balu, sand. the sands are drink like so, being so warm, if anything seed will be given, it will come out like that. Hmm? Like moody, you know, like moody. Right. So hot. So hot. Like cooking. And deers can be die at once in them. So if it, a drop of rain comes in that desert, what it becomes? It vaporizes. And if that vapor will touch anyone, it will be like like so many. Well, he will come out in our body. As if you will give any, uh, some oil in, in a pot and it is boiling so hot and if you give some a sprinkle of water there, it will like chan. And if it is touches anybody, then at once So like this, Sutamita Ramani Samaji. Our heart is desert. And if a bund, a drop of some happiness filling in their children's wife and all others' wealth, is like a draw. We are thinking that it is very pleasant, but it is like a hot. Uh, what vapor and it will burn to you hmm? oh Krishna I have forgotten you 
and I'm thinking that these things are poisonous things are nectar for me. I sleep in the night. I waste my time with my wife and other children. In day, wasting all my time in doing useless, useless things, salt, silly things, bad things, nonsense things. Now I have become old. I cannot do anything. Oh, Krishna saved me, saved me. And he was waiting. Adhita saw for a dense tense, and he, he was silent, standing and thus taking darshan. So that he is any Mahapurush. Get personality. Otherwise he cannot utter like this. He went there and he did pranam to Who are you? I am a bogus person. And but waste my time, whole time. Now I have become age of hundred. Hmm? What should I do? Hmm? He was the king's special kabi in his council, like Sarvam Bhattacharya. <coughs> and more respect than him, he has for, from kings and others. He has beautiful wife and so many children. But in his last days, he. Uh, what? Repenting likes. He has told, he has written so many songs of Krishna pastimes. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to read in his Gambhira Lila his songs. Chandidas Vidyapati. He was Vidyapati. Hmm? They were, um, I think that Advaita, uh, he was more senior than Advaita Charge in age. But he is Vishnu. So he met there, and I think that he would have met with Chandidas and all others also. Hmm. So he was so powerful at Daita Church. We pray in his lotus feet that he should bestow his mercy upon us, that we can know Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who he was, and how he came, and we can test something of his teachings. And our hearts should be like that. Now a kirtan, then I will start some. Krishna Das? Or anyone? Have you brought? What? They have to return it to the store. Oh. They rented it. Oh. No use of okay. We are now preparing to <laughs> move. You will sing without instrument. Uh, come. <coughs> so that they will not well, look, nahi kar sakte. To <laughs> you can repeat? Yes, yes. Hmm? yes.
कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौरत्ति से अनर्पित चरिंग चिरात एंड अगेन explaining because we have not as explain explain it as a whole so i have explained chaitanya mahaprabhu mercifully he came to distribute the same prem which he has given in his past chaitanya mahaprabhu past time now it is has gone so long long time one day of brahma has gone away so what what is unnat ujjwala ras i think some of you have a very little anything it is somewhat clear that what prem unnat ujjwala ras he wanted to taste and what unnat ujjwal rash he wanted to distribute hmm? i have made it clear but i think when you will chant more you have more affection pure affection and something real bhakti will come in heart then we can realize all this thing otherwise no this mondant <coughs> intelligence it will not help anything in that 
So all, all acharyas has warned us not to depend on this worldly intelligence. Try to increase your love and affection by chanting, remembering and doing all these things, devotional activities and thus from Golok Vrindavan, Suddha Sat will come in our heart, touch in our heart and then you will see everything is going clear. So now you try to hear but try to make it uh, to realize all things by your bhakti. Without bhakti you will not be clear. You cannot realize all these things. Someone they trust on these mental calculations and experience and expiration. But it will not help. They go to universities and here and there, but it will not help. So, Sankracharya has told, Nay, nay, rakshati dukriti karni. Bhaju Gobinda, Bhaju Gobinda, Gobindam Bhaju Murmati. His many disciple is about 100 years and he was repeating the uh, Dhatu. Grammar rules. Sahtaute, Sahtaute. Sahtaute, you know? These are some prefix of Vyakaran. Mm. And he was Reminding some, remembering the so roles and regulations of Bakar. He told that your hairs have been white, teeth are gone, gone everything, eyesight mm -hmm. also can, and you are now reciting all these <laughs> rules and regulations of Vyakarana, Anuswar and Bisharga. Hmm? <laughs> it will not save you. So, you are so foolish. You should chant, Bhaju Govindam, Bhaju Govindam, Govindam Bhaju Moodhamate. That is why. So, we should not depend on our intellectual intelligence or anything. We should try to have very bona fide association of Vaishnava. Any bona fide guru. When, like Shastra, I have explained all these things. And if you are saying that there is no such guru, then make any such devotee Mahabhagavat, Mahabhagavat, as a Siksha Guru. And if you have belief, then at once give up your heart in that Vishnu, take again Diksha and Siksha. This is the aim and object of our whole life. Mm. Mm. Worldly problems solving, it will not do anything. Mm. There are so many problems in life, but this is most... Primary problem. Mm. This is. If it is not solved, then only party feelings and all other things, <laughs> making, making money and Name and fame will not do you. Oh, we are in this big party. How we can live? It will not protect. It will not save. So try to do like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Advaita charge. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to uh, Gaya, <coughs> and he gave his heart in the lotus feet of Chaitanya, in Ishwarpur, and told, now I am satisfied. My whole life is now successful, being in your association and having Diksha from you. Hmm? So we should try to follow all the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, and all other Goswamis. I am going to now 
हरि एक्सप्लेन हरि हपूरट सुंदर द्यूति कदम बसंती पिता सदा हृदय कंदरे सुरत में न सचिनंदन दैट वेरी सचिनंदन हो हिमसेल्फ हरि हु इज हरि सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेट कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ इज दैट हरि नौ चैतन्य रूप गोस्वामी इज कॉलिंग हिम नॉट हरि बट सच नंदन सचिव आज सो मर्सीफुल टू ऑल सो दिस चैतन्य महाप्रभु मस्ट बी वेरी सेम लाइक एज हिज मदर चैतन्य महाप्रभु समटाइम्स मे बी कम very hard and nishthu cruel hearted cruel hearted like he became very cruel hearted chota. in connection of chota haridas kala krishna das about king pratap rud raja he will not give his darshan to him eh? so cruel He was not ready to take advice of Advaita Charya Nityananda Prabhu, even Raya Ramananda and Sarup Damodar, anyone, even his guru, like Guru Paramananda Puri and all others, he refused. He told that now I'm just now I'm leaving this Puri. You should be with Chotu Haridas, or uh, <coughs> you should be with uh, Pratap Rudra. Hmm? you will gain so many wealth and reputation and everything i don't want this if you are not like this then we cannot have pure bhakti devotion vaishnav should be like chaitanya mahaprabhu but rup goshami tells o oh prabhu if you will look towards my qualification then we are hopeless forever i know that you are not like that you are also the son of sachi maiya so i know that you are so kind hearted and you cannot give up this quality and among all qualities vasalya bhav means to parental mood parental mood eh parental mood yes hmm? this is most superior quality of krishna or chaitanya mahaprabhu so he is praying that o sachinandan you are same hari same krishna and you have taken the beauty of shrimati radhika and mood of radhika and you are so <coughs> merciful that you want to, to give it all the entity all the persons who have no qualification at all giving qualification like jagai madhai you get this krishna you are like a lion hari has so many meanings hari means himself krishna who takes the heart and mind of everyone hari means lion very powerful lion hari means monkeys hari means what Sin- more singha harati remove harati mm-hmm. so many meanings mm-hmm. so here he is taking the meaning of lion mm-hmm. and s- that is why he is praying chaitanya mahaprabhu that you are a lion very powerful if you will as a lion roars <coughs> hearing your roars mad elephants here mad elephants means or past acti- bad activities and uh, so much uh, offenses to vaishnavas <coughs> there are mad elephants they can approve the creeper of bhakti 
at once and it will dry forever so our offense is like elephant elephant mad elephant in shastra it has in shrimad bhagavat it has been given if anyone crossing the glories of any pure devotee by criticizing by abusing by beating by not being so happy to see not a abhinandati welcome if he, welcoming if he is coming or going mm. standing then he is uh, he is doing offenses and it is like mad elephant and it takes his all power go to activities his beauty his what knowledge eh power intelligence power intelligence everything it destroys and he even he is not uh, qualified to go in j- um, in hell next any greater and bigger and sufferable uh, hell will be made for them so we should try to understand all these things if chaitanya mahaprabhu mercy is there and chaitanya mahaprabhu lives in the case very uh, dark that is our heart if lion chaitanya mahaprabhu hari is there we are reminding him remembering him glorifying him kirtan doing of chaitanya mahaprabhu then by the roar of this lion mad elephants can go at once from there they all be destroyed otherwise it is very hard krishna can do it <laughs> chaitanya mahaprabhu in the shape of same krishna but in the same of chaitanya mahaprabhu having more <coughs> qualities and mercy from radhika radhika is most merciful hmm? and combined with krishna mercy hmm? they can even overlook and destroy all the offenses they can do nityananda prabhu can do so i am praying that this loin should come in my heart oh sachinandan hmm? krishna himself now being gauranga having golden beauty of shrimati radhika and he has uh, nothing to express similarity of that heart's affection and love understand what i told for elephants and he has gave similarity of elephant and chaitanya mahaprabhu make like a lion but how, how he will express that having the beauty and golden color who is that no example chaitanya mahaprabhu is similar to him chaitanya mahaprabhu no other Uh, at comparison. comparison. Hmm? So he is telling. He has done the earth of this slok himself. In whole this chapter, only the earth of this meaning of this slok explaining. Now I want to hear the explanation <coughs> meaning made by Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj and. Shamrani will read it. May that Lord, who is known as the son of Srimati Sachi Devi, be transcendentally situated in the innermost core of the heart, resplendent with the radiance of molten gold, 
He has descended in the age of Kali by his causeless mercy to bestow what no other incarnation has ever offered before, the most elevated mellow of devotional service, the mellow of conjugal love. This is a quotation from the Vidagda Madhava, a drama compiled and edited by Srila Rupa Goswami. The confidential reason for the Lord's appearance is given in the third chapter, this third chapter, fourth verse. It has been clearly said that Lord Chaitanya appeared to distribute love of Krishna and the chanting of his transcendental <coughs> holy name, Hare Krishna. That was the secondary purpose. Huh? What? That was the secondary purpose. Try to hear, him. listen it. Once I told this, and whole school leaders became <laughs> upset. <laughs> and they were telling me, excusing me, that he has uh, lessened Swamiji. And they were telling that this is the reason that we are rejecting. rejecting him. I think by this doing so, they are rejecting Swamiji, not me. They are rejecting Krishna himself, Mahaprabhu, and Chaitanya Chaitanya and Bhagavat itself. They are not rejecting me actually. They should try to uh, reform. Then, well, although this is true, this is only the external reason for the Lord's incarnation. Please hear the real confidential uh, reason. He is telling, Rupa Goswami is telling. Hmm. In this fourth chapter, he explains that reason. Fourth chapter. The fourth chapter is an explanation. The, the, um, the fifth verse is a, as yes. an explanation of that verse in Arpi Kuchimini hmm. On Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami. Yes, so try to read it again. Chaitanya Charitamrita, and we will see all these facts. I know that uh, some once, someone once, that uh, ordinary and these new five are old seniors. They must not know all these things. Otherwise, they will give up to collecting money or anything, <laughs> making or plans they will ruin, so they should not know all these things. But I think that this is not good. Krishnadas Kavaraj Goswami has stressed that Lord Chaitanya appeared for three principal purposes of his own. The first purpose was to relish the position of Srimati Radharani, who is the prime reciprocator of transcendental love of Sri Krishna. Lord Krishna is the reservoir of transcendental loving transactions with Srimati Radharani. <coughs> the subject of these loving transactions is the Lord himself and Radharani is the object. Thus, the subject, the Lord, wanted to relish the loving mellow of the position of the object, Radharani. The second reason for his appearance was to understand the transcendental mellow of himself. Lord Krishna is all sweetness. Radharani's attraction for Krishna is sublime and the experience that attraction, to experience that attraction and understand the transcendental sweetness of himself, he accepted the mentality of Radharani. The third reason that Lord Chaitanya appeared was to enjoy the bliss tasted by Radharani. The Lord thought that undoubtedly Radharani enjoyed his company and he enjoyed the company of Radharani. But the exchange of transcendental mellow between the spiritual couple was more pleasing to Srimati Radharani than to himself. Yeah. She felt more transcendental pleasure in the company of Krishna than he could understand without taking her position. But for Sri Krishna to enjoy in the position of Srimati Radharani was impossible because that position was completely foreign to him. Krishna is the transcendental male and 
Radharani is the transcendental female. Therefore, to know the transcendental pleasure of loving Krishna, Lord Krishna himself appeared as Lord Chaitanya, accepting the emotions and bodily luster of Srimati Radharani. He appeared to fulfill these confidential desires and also to preach the special significance of chanting Hare Krishna and to answer the call of Advaita Acharya Prabhu. These were secondary reasons. Sri Swarup Damodar Goswami was the principal figure among Lord Chaitanya's confidential devotees, and the records of his diary have revealed these confidential purposes of the Lord. These revelations have been confirmed by the statements of Srila Rupa Goswami in his prayers and poems. So this chapter, chapter 4, which is a commentary on that verse, yes. was also, also specifically describes the difference between lust and love. The transactions of Krishna and Radha are completely different from material lust, and therefore the author has very clearly distinguished between them. Very good. Thing. He has written this for whom? For whom he has written? For readers, those who will read. Or not for any devotee? Hmm? He wanted to be distributed his all books. Why? That if any man, man will re read this and go to any superior Vaishnava, and read it by that, and try to understand, he will be qualified at once. Hmm? If he knew that uh, in whole, in my mission, there is no qualified person, and never will be, then why he wrote these things? Some are telling like this, <coughs> in whole world there is no qualified person. Any never will come like this. If anyone tell, he will be Sahajiya. <laughs> I think that Rup Goswami was also Sahajiya. Krishna Dastra Goswami was. Let them give. Uh, Swami Bhakti Pedan Swami is also very greatest Sahajiya. <laughs> if he <you> tell. <laughs> I think that they are himself sahajiya, all are perfect. Even they are not sahajiya. I think they are mayavadi or what, I don't think. <laughs> so, you should not believe that. Any person touching Chaitanya Chaitamrit, reading with Vaishnava, hmm, reading Bhagavatam, chanting Gaur Nityananda Prabhu, they will be qualified, certainly. And we are all, uh, what, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ke kipa patra hum log ho sakte hai. And we, we can be, eh? Yeah. Yes, Mahaprabhu. We are all, because we have come giving all the lines. And we have come in the shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In his disciplic order successions, successors. Hmm? We are, we, I know that you are rare person in whole world. Hmm? In whole Australia, I see him there. Malditis, 50, 60 or 100 person hearing. Hmm? In whole world, it will be counted on finger, the numbers. So it is a very rare thing. Those who have took a, taken shelter in the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or his associates, I think one day they will be qualified, mm. qualified short and they will. Mm. So don't be hopeless. Don't be hopeless. I, I see everywhere the rays of hopes. <laughs> <laughs> so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, mercy will be upon you. Perhaps time is today over. Yes. We will explain further what he wants. I wanted to give a very little explanations 
I will try, but so many good, good days are coming. I think after that, a Kadasi will come, and very, uh, very... Uh, after this Shivaratri, after this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, going very, passing very uh, quickly, quickly. And our days here also quickly coming. <laughs> so I fear whether I will be able to explain or not. But even I will try to give. We will all come to India and hear more. Yes, very. I will be so happy. Gaur Prama. Are not Gurudev? Only Vaishnav. Kanishta Vaishnav like. Yes. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.